Hey everybody, welcome to Tuesdays with Stories. We got a hot episode coming up soon, but first, this episode is brought to you by Feel CBD. CBD isn't what you feel, it's about what you don't feel, like stress, anxiety, or pain. I am stressed out, got a lot going on, running. As soon as we're done with this, I got to jump in the car, drive through the tunnel, lots of traffic, Uh. get down to Jersey, do a gig, memorize 92 pages of lines. I'm stressed and out, but luckily... There's something for me. It's called Feels, Feels CBD. It's something I put in my tea, and I drop it right in my butthole, and it makes me feel great. It's hassle-free, delivered directly to your door. CBD naturally helps reduce stress, anxiety, pain, and sleeplessness. There's no hangover and no addiction. Place a few drops of Feels under your tongue and feel the difference within minutes. Feels offers a free CBD hotline to help you perfect doses. The Feels customer service team is dedicated to making sure you get the best use of CBD. Talk about it, Mark. You got that right. I use it every night. I can't sleep. I got bad uh, memories and trauma. Start feeling better with Feels. Become a member today by going to feels.com slash Tuesdays. You'll get 50% off your first order with free shipping with our promo code. Wow, half off. That's a steal. Here we go. Get f e a l s dot com slash Tuesdays to become a member and get fifty percent automatically taken off your first order with free shipping. One more time, feels dot com slash Tuesdays and feel better. They're great. Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe Liss. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, uh, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. Damn, I don't know where that noise came from. Right from the taint, from the bowels. I pretend I know what a bowel is, and I pretend I know what a jowl is. Jowl? What's a jowl and buy a vowel? What's a jowl anyways? A jowl is your jaw thing? Yeah, I guess in here, the jowl. jowls. You always go, oh, jowls, some guy, Walter Matthau or some guy. Yeah, you know? I think it's this shit. I think it's like this floppy shit over here, the jowls, <laughs> yeah, maybe? Turkey neck, I think, whatever no, that is. No, I think is. it's up here. Oh, is it up here? I think it's here, not here. Because it's jaw and then jowl. It's all coming together. Latin, I think. Who could keep up? I was just with a guy yesterday who studied Latinx. Latin at Harvard. Wow! Went to Harvard to study Latin. I'm like, what kind of what kind of buck is in that racket? It's a dead language over there. I mean, unless you're a Latino, maybe. Yeah, isn't that weird? There's Latino and then Latin because I think of Latin as weird. as white. I think of like yeah, Roman. You know, like a guy with a big hat and he's right. silly. <laughs> the Pope, the Pope is is speaking Latin, and then the doctors use Latin. This is a uh, clarifingal esophagia too. And then what's the Greeks? Are the Greeks Latin? I think came a comma. On my back, uh, yeah, I think so. I, then they got the U, which looks like a V, which is the gymnasium. The you U, know? Miami, huh? University of Miami, uh, uh, MU. The, they call it the U. PU. <laughs> Either way, the whole thing stinks. But uh, Latin is kooky. Uh, uh, come loudy, come louder. It's all over the road. We still we dabble with it. Yeah, Ixne on the ombre is that Latin? That's Pig Latin. What the fuck's a Pig Latin? That's pig Latin in Spanish. What? Which is Latin. Pig Latin. Wait, what? Ixnay and Ombre is Ix- Spanish? Ixnay. Oh, Ombre is Spanish. But Ix- yeah, and Ixnay is Pig Latin, which is uh, what we should... S- that's what fat people speak. Have you seen Pig, the Nick Cage picture? I did. I loved it. That's a hell of a film right there. Man, what a good time that oh was. Oh, my God. I grabbed each ankle, spread them up over my legs, and shoved that film in my ass, and cum just shot right in my mother's yeah. face. I was already in the pussy, so it was a real DP, director yeah. of photography. Real, it, was, it was a fine film. I mean, Nick Cage, I think he stinks, and I don't like him, but uh, that was a hell of a... Wow, he you got, can bring it when he brings it. Yeah, but when he doesn't bring it, what the fuck? I mean, Raising Arizona, I love. That Come movie on, just exists in my Vegas. ass. Vegas. Leaving Las Vegas is fine. Okay, the, whatever. The, the acting, the acting, man. Ronald Reagan, the actor? <laughs> Wait, just, I had something with Latin. Ah, Latinx, Latin. The French Quarter, the Latin Quarter. I don't know about that. I think it's a triangle. The La- Latin Quarter is in uh, Paris, Paris. Oh, really? Yeah, which is interesting because it's French, That's but then there's French Latin. And so what? Gay. What is Latin? Did it start somewhere? I think Latvia? It was the Greek. Oh. Where's the term Latin come from? 
That's interesting. This isn't as latent homosexuality, whatever that is. Because that means just like it's idle. idle. It's like you're not doing anything Eric with it. Idle? Oh, like latent I see. means like I'm a, a latent, you know, gay means you're gay, but you're not in, endorsing or uh, engaging in engaging. sex. So it's like I'm a I'm a latent, you know, uh, pedophile or whatever. You just you just are one. You're not you're not uh, you're not active. I think so. I think I that's what it means. I thought it meant you were hiding it. He's a latent. That homosexual. could be, but that's the same thing, similar, essentially, right? Similar, then yeah. there's blatant homosexual. Oh. That's like roller skates and pigtails with lipstick. Right, right. <laughs> the cucumber, the lube, <laughs> the the, uh, the dancing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Blatant and latent. That's interesting. That is interesting. Yeah, they're right there. It's very Carlin. It was blatant, latent, <laughs> Latin, whatever. <laughs> whatever happened to him? He passed away. Um, you hate to hear it. But so what is the Latin? I mean, who, they, so the Greek stuff, but they, there's a Greek is the language. There's Greek. Yeah, it's so Greek Latin. Me. Uh, I, it's a, I think it started with Latin and turned Greek. But Spanish is, Span, is from Spain. English is from England. Yeah. And Greek is from Greece. Is there a Latin? Let, well, there's no Roman language. Oh, there is Roman. There's, there's a Rome. Romance. Like romance, but I think that's different than Roman. Well, there's Romance languages. Roman French, Spanish, Italian. Right. Portuguese. And I think that's all based on Latin. I think it I think Latin was numero uno. I understand Roman that, numerals. but I'm saying why do they call it Latin? There was no there wasn't a Latina, Queen Latifah, like country. I don't know. I don't know. I think uh just it just you gotta name it something. I guess so, but where did it originate? In Greece? Give it a goo. But Greece is Greek. You see what I mean? I think Latin, they, they, Greek weirdos said, hey, we got Latin, but we'll make it our own. Look, you got Ebonics, but that's English. Ah, hooked on phonics. Worked for me. Uh, France to French, English, England to English, Span to Spanish, Latin to Latinish. Yeah, yeah, it's I, tough. I don't get it's it. It's tough. But I the, don't think it started at all. But then you get in that old wacky area of like, how did we come up with language anyways? Uh, like, what is a... Uh, how, did, how did chair come to mean a I thing you sit in? think about that all the time. I'm reading Sapiens because I'm a basic bitch. Uh-huh. Have you read it? No, but everyone I know has read it, told me all about it. I don't care about Sapiens. I moved off of Sapiens. I'm no into offense. it. it it's, it's dense, to say the least, but they make it accessible. It's like a documentary in a, in a book. But the, all the languages is what made us beat... The Neanderthals, because uh-huh. we could talk and go, "Hey, this guy's clearly latent, and uh, we got to move away from him." Mm-hmm. You know, we can't reproduce, so they would just go lion. But we could go, "Hey, that lion had a huge dick, and I put it in my ass, and all that." So we could get a little further, right? So you could trick and deceit and lie. I see. So that's how you beat them with the lying. This book, Sapiens, it's worse than the Bible. I, I was in Austin for four mm. days with Chris D. while he was reading it. Every That's all we talked about. He's like, this chapter, tell, I'll tell you right now, the mathematics and the thing. Right. And then my wife read it, and every time I see my wife, I'm like, do you have a good day? Well, I had a good day for yeah. evolution. It's, can anyone read? The, no offense. Can anyone read this book and just be like, I'm reading a nice book. It's fine. I didn't want to bring it up, but it's I'm a homo lot sapiens. With the sapiens. I mean, people read, it's like, uh, what's the thing where they flip the tires? Uh, the strong man? Yeah, no, the fucking thing. You know the, the thing. The mechanic. No, the thing the people do. Where they flip it and they th- everyone had a joke about how they all talk about it. Oh, oh tough oh, mutter. No. CrossFit. 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 Yes, CrossFit. It's like but no one does CrossFit and doesn't go, I'm doing CrossFit right, over here. Right. Heads That's up. True. I got the CrossFit. That's true. If you don't know about the CrossFit, you got to see my CrossFit. You got to talk about CrossFit. And kettlebells is up there. We get it. You do a kettlebell, kettle corn. Kettlebells is big. I don't understand the kettlebell because you're like, can't you do that with uh, a dumbbell? A dumbbell. Yeah. Why yeah, is kettle yeah, better yeah. than dumb? Ah, Liberty Bell. It's all <laughs> over the road. I, I think I think the kettle is dumb. How about that? They should switch the names. Kettle is weird. Kettle of fish. I because the, the kettlebell it, it swings. You pick it up and it hits your dick. I hate the swing and my wrist is going to give out. I don't get uh, what it. Am I a homo, homo sapien? I can't be doing all that. We got to flip the title. This dumbbell kettlebell is the new handbell. That's a, that's a dumb bell. Yes, exactly. Uh huh. But yeah, Memphis w- bell. Wait, we're all we're all over the road here. A taco bell. We better be. We recorded six hours ago. I got I nothing. Know, I know. Well, we're off on Latinx here. Uh, what the hell was I saying, though? I had something. Sapiens, language, Latin. Oh, you said where'd language come from. So I won't bring up sapiens again. 
I'm literally eight pages in. I had to reread it four times. I'm an idiot. Rapians. Yeah. Um, <laughs> bring up Sapiens. I shouldn't have said it. I should have. No, I just, no. Uh, I, I know what you mean, though. Everybody. That's why I'm reading the goddamn thing, because the goddamn right. word of mouth is out there. And so you go, well, I want to be part of society, and I want people to like me and fuck me, so I read it. What? Uh, I had something else. Oh, one of the best lines in any movie ever, my favorite, in Rushmore. When he saves Latin, and then the uh, the Scottish guy goes, "All right, couldn't you live well enough alone, Fisher?" And he goes, "Was that Latin?" Ah, oh, that's good. That's beautiful. Good great, movie. Great film. He really peaked that, that Anderson. Second movie he peaked on the second movie, and everything after that, you what? start to be like, "Oh, Tenenbaums was really something." I just rewatched. It doesn't hold up as great. Come it's on. very good. It's very good, but it's not as good as Rushmore. No, Rushmore. Don't be coming is in bananas. here with Tenenbaums better than Rushmore. No, I'm a, I'm a Rushmore queef. Don't get me wrong, but uh, Tenenbaums is top notch fantastic but Rushmore is a ma- it's so weird to be it's and maybe a masterpiece it's so weird to put out a movie and Bottle Rocket's amazing that's amazing then Rushmore is one of the best movies ever then Tenenbaums is like good but not as good and then everything else is below so it's like it's weird to make nine movies and be like my second one was my best which you can make that argument for Tarantino too you see that a lot with comedy too though these guys with the banger up front and the second one is like oh shit that was just as good and then it's well, with comedy, it makes more sense to me because you're building that first act or second yes, act for like uh, 10 years, 10 years, 20 years. And then yeah. the next one's like six weeks later, and you're like, is this anything? Yeah, but you still got a little bit of that uh, humble, maybe, or what, what is it where you, where you, reality is still kicked in? Humility? Humility. Because uh-huh. after that, it's yes, man, you're great. I love every joke. What do you think about this idea? Men and women are different. Right. That's gold. Right, exactly. You know, they're up on the mountaintop, they're out of touch. Right. You know, we've seen uh, big names come in and go, hey, here's my Michael Jackson bit. And you go, ooh, I've heard that two two times today. There's a couple big comics that haven't put out anything great in 25 years. Uh, don't 20 get me years. Started. I don't, mean, don't get me started. Like best special ever. Then 20 years of like, hey, okay, yeah. Well, the audience likes you. I mean, uh, a large comic used to say to us years ago. At least he told me. He goes, I would kill to be where you are. I'm like, I'm broke. I'm a janitor during the day. I can't get it up. I'm doing bar shows. I'm making no money. And he's like, I'd kill to be there. That's the sweet spot. If you get a laugh, you earned it. I'm like, you're a millionaire. You sold out the garden. Uh, You're doing fine. You're dating a supermodel. But his life's been ruined since then. But I called him. I go, hey, you're back. And he hung up on me. But uh, either way, it's a a tough spot, though, because he's right in the sense that you might get some laughs when you don't deserve them. Well, first of all, I didn't know you knew Michael J. Fox. That's really cool. But, I mean, Family Ties was great, and it sucks that he got the disease. But I, Spin City. I hate, don't you hate that stuff sometimes, though, when people are like, you're in the best position uh, ever. And I'm like, I took a bus here. I know, Stop it. You're, I know. you're, you're patronizing they me. They shit in my underwear, man. You flew here on a private, private helicopter, <laughs> and I had to borrow a bike to get to the bus station, you fuck. I know. Shut up. I know, exactly. Get real. Oh, God, I can't afford a different pair of pants. I'm wearing flip-flops. My dad won't return my call. My cell phone's off, and I got no electricity. But, hey, I'm an artist. Yeah, yeah, you are. Uh, but but I, 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 when artist. Chuck is here, it's nice, but we don't have the uh, the time. I like to see the time. Oh, good to know the time. 13 minutes. 13 oh, minutes? Oh, my man. God, we're Holy fucked. There's no hell. way we, we can't do it. It's going to be bad. Well, let me just say this there, Fatty. I got the taping tonight. It's in, like, three hours, which is exciting. Like, you guys are seeing the day of the taping, and the taping is tonight. Two shows. Got the worst spot on both shows. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm going first on the first show. Okay. And last on the last show, which is, like, the show starts at 10, which means 1030, half hour, a oh, warm up, half hour set, oh. half hour set, then my oh, half hour. But the hope is the gays are there. The gays are coming so they're out. They're going, yeah, you got to get a pop. Intended. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. But then they sit through uh, these other people and they go, who's this? What's this? Who's this black person? What's going on here? And hopefully they hold on. Oh, they'll hold on. They'll hold. hold the, on. the gays, I mean, we remember when I shot the thing at downstairs or over there, wherever, uh-huh. uh, many blocks away. At the VU. Yeah, the Village Underground. Yes, you don't live anywhere near there, but... No, you got that right. Uh, I'm in Brooklyn. I was so nervous because I'm like, it's got to be the gays. They want podcasts. They want me to say I had sex with the retard on Christmas Eve, yep. but, or they, they, they need to do something that crazy. That's a good bit, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I write that down. <laughs> you need to do something crazy. 
But then I went and it was a pie. It was, yeah, I they went there. crazy. So they're going to be there. They're going to give you the goods. They're going to go nuts. And then the other people are going to be like, what the hell is this? This guy must be the best one. He's going last. Everyone's going I crazy. I hope you're right. They say that, that it's uh, contagious, like herpes. Yes, exactly. So I, I can give you some of that if you want it for good luck. I might have it. I think it's going to be. It's, it's latent. It's going to be rocking. It's going to be kick ass. And I think that is the thing latent herpes. Uh-huh. Right? I think that is. It's, it's dormant. a latent. Dormant, not latent. Yeah, dormant, doormat. Ant is big, right? Ant, dormant, Ant latent, Man. rampant. Ah. There's a lot of ants. Uh, is ant a. Uh, is an, ant, an antonym? No, is ant a suffix? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, it's a suffix. Oh, suffix, suffix Long Island. Suffolk County. <laughs> Prefix suffix. Right. Prefix is like, pre is a prefix. It's a kind of meal at a dinner. Isn't that weird? Huh? Pre is a prefix. Like the word prefix oh, contains right. a prefix. Yes, the menu. Prefix. Prefix? Prefix. Prefix. Oh, fuck. Pre- then there's preface. Which, yes. Uh, it should be preface. But preface is what uh, actresses have before the surgery. Ah. Uh, mm. What do you think of all this bocce ball they're doing in the face? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. It's not good. It's showing up later. My my lady watches all this trash TV with the real house cunts of mm-hmm. uh, orange anal, and uh, these ladies they look like ghouls and and they look like a I bat know. hit them or or you know when the lips you know when Tom Cruise in, in Mission Impossible starts pulling that Voight thing off oh, it, I love they that. look halfway you know like Bleh! it's that like stretchy weirdo skin rubber shit. I don't you feel like Sarah and I talk about this all the time. Because like, there's a lot of shit for men, and maybe it's um, society, but I'm like, we're not asking you to do that. That was on you. You guys started this. I got a whole thing None of us this. know about any of this. I never heard of any of this. I don't. People are shoving poison into their face with needles, and I don't know any guy that's like, I need you to really stick some goo in your face. Yeah, I want your face to be so tight you can't make an expression. I want your lips to be look like a, like a bee stung them. And I like old and shitty. I want like a haggard-ass, yes. gross, nasty face with drips and pockmarks yes. and pimples. I like that. Like, give me some nasty. Cat- Kathy Bates, we're talking to you. How about that that lady from Goonies? Give me that big whore. Goonies. What's her name? The real Josh old, Brolin? The old coos who was a cunt with the, ah, get in there, you cunt. Oh, name? yeah, Big that, Bertha. Big Bertha, maybe that was no, it. That she was, was a throw mama from the train. She was like, Danny she DeVito. was the ugly lady. We need an ugly, scary lady in Hollywood. Get her on the horn. What's that cunt's name? I don't, no one knows her name. She's ugly bitch. <laughs> she's Who cares? Ugly bitch number one. That was it. <laughs> she's number one. All right. You know, Josh Brolin quit movies after Goonies. He did Goonies, and they did one other movie, and he was so bad that he quit for Isn't like right? ten years. Yeah, and they came back and with the uh, best movie of the decade. Whatever. Yeah. Then he did some other stuff. Now he's great. Everyone's like that guy's great, but he quit for like ten years, which is what I'm going to do with comedy after my next special that I, stinks. I thought you already did, well. but yeah. Uh, wow, Brolin. He's so handsome. He's so good. He's so understated. He's so manly. Yeah, he's quite manly. I just want to really blow him. <laughs> I know. There's something about him. He doesn't give a fuck, and he's 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 quiet. He's Seems like real men are quiet. Hmm. I'm loud and, and, and not proud. Proud boy. I'm all over the place. Please like me. I'm tap dancing. I'm doing cartwheels down the beach, and uh, he just walks in. Smoking a cigarette, got boots on, doesn't say hi. I'd kill to be quiet, and then you can't get <laughs> the toothpaste. <laughs> you can't get the toothpaste back in the jar or whatever the it's saying too late. is. I can't be private. I love these guys, and he was private. He had a very private yes. life. I'm like every person knows every single thing. I'm like, I, I like coming my ass. My, I like my father to hit me. You know what I mean? And it's like. I'd I'm love to be you. one of these stoic private guys. I, I never know. even thought of it. Stoics. Any guy I meet who's stoic, I go, oh, I want to eat your ass. You're so hot. Uh, I just, some, <laughs> Paul <laughs> Newman was so stoic. I'm like, oh, I want to blow Paul. I got, I got no stove. I'm a stowaway. I, I stink. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm Be, just, beat I'm, your stow. I'm like, I got herpes. I'm self-conscious about my teeth. My eyesight's <laughs> bad. I ran from a homeless guy. Feel to be stoic. They know everything. I had a girl once. This is 28 years ago. I was 11 years old. She said, if you were a meaner, if you were a dick you'd be so you'd be hot she's like you're a cute dickless bitch or whatever but if you were mean you'd be a hot guy i was like what is this you ladies are fucking kooky i don't know i can't figure out you you trash gash but here's the thing though with the nice because i'm the nice guy you're a nice I'm very guy. nice and it didn't work out through my 20s i kept getting friend zone oh. and, and herpy <laughs> oh, yes. I, I was just fucking just fat whale ladies but now 
once you get to an age, if you just stay nice long enough, now I'm the guy. Uh, everyone's like, oh, my God, you're so nice. True, I got women are true. trying. Hey, can I blow you after the show? You're so nice. So that's decades. And I go, hey, hey, of, I got a wife. Of, of, of uh, bald, filling, no jizzing. I mean, you had nothing for decades. I mean, you got through it at the end of the tunnel, but... That's a long time to not get a, your asshole fingered. I know. I guess I should have been smacking hoes and calling them bitches or whatever. You got to be more uh, assertive. assertive. Yeah, why don't you get over here and blow me, you dummy? Yeah. That works. Women are there's women slipping off a chair in Cleveland right now. Yeah, I'm going, hey, uh, you know, if you ever want to get together, I would like to get together. But if not, I don't want to cause any problems because yeah. I know you might not want to get together. But, uh, hey, if you want me to recycle your cans for you, I can donate it to a homeless bitch. Right. And they go, oh, my God, you're so sweet, you know. Watch my dog. I have a theory. I think, and I think I've brought this before. I think women are embarrassed by what they're attracted to. Man, it's all pretty cut and dry. We're like, tits, give me a fat ass, give me a, a nice face, and then cool gal, nice pair of legs, heels. It's all out there. Some lace, a thigh high, yes. uh, a shoe, a you know, a, a lipstick. Sure. Uh, long hair, whatever, shiny. But ladies like stuff about men, and they go, oh, I, would, I hope nobody finds this out. But you like what you like. You can't hide it, ladies. I'm sorry. You like weird shit. You, you like a little aggression, a little mansplainy, a little uh, throw you around. They'll never admit it, mm -hmm. but they like it. Yeah. And they blame society. It's like you say, like, men want us to do this. But then you go, hey, what are you going to you, you You're losing weight for men. They go, I do this for me. So it's not for men. So which one is it? Is it for men or is it for you? It's confusing, and I it's hate confusing. I hate the fat lips. I, give me a thin, regular lip. I hate like the. It's like it looks like Mr. Potato Head lips. Oh, the yeah, injection the lips. They're just big and like. Bloop. Yeah, it's not because I'm like that, it doesn't fit the rest of your face. You got a, like a regular old face, and then you got these big swollen pink hot dogs, and then you got those <laughs> those big old mud flaps on the eye. They go oh, crazy with the lashes, the and, nine foot eyelash. And then you go, what happened? Like because you look in the mirror every day, all day, and you don't. How come I see this kooky jack o' lantern mug here, and you don't? How is that? You know what it is? It's gradual. You know when you're painting a painting with a special needs kid and he's going in and you're like, this is pretty good. He goes, maybe a little dabble over here. And then you ruined it. You, right. you went too far. But they can't see because they're just staring at it. Yeah, that's why you can't let them make their own decisions, no. these kids. Oh, and you got to step in. Can't let them drive. Forget about it. They'll no. plow down a whole playground. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't stop, won't stop. That was what I was looking for. <laughs> All right. Well, Ooh. this is this is wild. I mean, so we I'm we're, out of breath. We're trying to stack up these episodes because I got to go away for Christmas and uh, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I took a note down. There was something here I could mention. Oh, I might have to show you a bruise, and you tell me if I have AIDS. Ooh, I, I love a bruise because Bruising. I think I know. I'll tell you the whole story. All right. So. I'm walking around in my underwear. I like to go take a shower, come out and swing my dick around. Sarah laughs. It's a good chuckle. You know what I mean? You come out all gangly. Love a dick swing. When they're when it's wet and warm, a dick can really elasticize. Yeah, it's fun. And you do the little a little lasso, Ted sure. Lasso, that show, whatever. But yeah. Oh my god. That's one of those we gotta pretend to like it. It's 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 like a comedian. You go, Oh yeah, they're great. Anyways, I got the bag of worms, the long dick, so I'm showing Sarah and I'm dumb tiptoeing around, bouncing around in my panties, my, yep. my sheath underwear. Sure. Sheet. And she goes, uh, what the fuck happened to the back of your leg? Uh oh. And you know me. I'm like, what? What do you mean? And she's like, holy shit. She's like, come over here. And I'm like, what? What? I can't see. And she's like, Jesus Christ. And she busts out the phone right away and she starts Googling shit. Oh, uh, what is this? Is your wife? She should know you better than anybody. She can't be going, what the fuck happened to the back of your leg? That's going to give you a heart attack. But I'm going, what, what the fuck? And I look in the mirror and I'm like, whoa, I jump. It looks like I got shot in like 1875. What? Perfect circle. I'm talking black, red, blue. It's wow. fucking insane. It's like the it, German flag. I look like Andrew Beckett's chest in Philadelphia. Remember when he takes the thing and he goes, I rest my case or whatever? Oh. It's crazy. Oh, so I go, ah, it's just a brew. I don't know what the fuck that is, well, but I'm not going to worry it. about it. I won't worry about it. So I go to bed the next day and I'm anxious. I'm, I'm making a movie. We're doing the pot. You make a movie? Uh, remember Dennis Leary? He used to be so great. Remember that bit? I never got it. Yeah, well, when I was a kid, I mean, I shit my pants. It sure, was hilarious. Sure, he's, he's for little nine-year-old idiots. Looking back, but yeah. uh, anyways, so the next day, I go back, and I just go, I'm getting better with hypochondria, anxiety, so I go, ah, whatever, who cares, it's a bruise. The next night, she's like, what the fuck? 
She's like, I'm sorry. She's like, that's insane. It's crazy. So I go, all right. Well, trousers off. Well, I'll get to it. So then I go, I go, what the fuck? So now I'm a little more anxious. A lot going on. I look and I go. This is serious. What if I got a blood clot? So <laughs> she starts Googling. We're both Googling. I'm looking up AIDS, blood clots, sure. skin disease, hemoglobin, g- g- global warming, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking it all up. And then I'm like, maybe it's from getting kicked. You know, I do some mixed martial arts. I'm like, oh, maybe I got there kicked. You go. that, of course, that's and it. So she looks up MMA bruises. She's like, that's it. That's it. But I'm like, I haven't done it in nine days. Mm. So I text Diego and I go, hey, is this from a kick? And he's like... I've never kicked you that hard in my life. He's like, you'd wow. quit if I kicked you that hard. Not to mention, this is a two-day bruise. Because we looked up time frame of bruise, and bruises in nine days have turned yellow. This is black. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh, my God. And I'm like tossing and turning. I'm like, I'll try not to worry about it. But I, I had a long flight from Salt Lake City. Maybe I have a leg thing. A, uh, Maybe you got a thing. What do you call that? A blockage. A clot? A clot. Uh, a, clot <laughs> a blood clot. And they're like, it's more likely in your legs. And if you have AIDS, you have leg bruises. And, and uh, what's the other one that I looked up? Hemoflopin, globia. Uh, glaucoma. No, no, it was no. something. I know what you're talking about. Uh, it was something where your blood turns into homophobia. shit. Uh, Whatever. Shit. Yeah, your blood turns to shit or your shit turns to blood. <laughs> something like that. So then I lay down and I'm like, all right, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to relax. But I'm Does staring at the ceiling. It, she's pressing it. It doesn't hurt too bad, but she's like, it feels crazy. It's what? wacky. I got to feel it. I got to see it. I got to lick it. So it could be different. It's been 24 hours. So I'm laying in bed and I'm like, oh my God, just don't worry about it. I'm sure it's fine because I don't feel sick. I don't feel, you know, uh, I'm, I'm breathing fine. I've run. I, I'm okay. So I go, it's probably nothing. And then I go, we, we start to fall asleep and I go, I got it. Uh-huh. I know what it is. Wow. I jump up and she's like, whoa, what? And I get up and I'm like, okay, I remember. I was, I was feeling stressed in the ro- on the road in Salt Lake City in my hotel. I put on music. I listen to music loud. I'll put on some live fucking kick ass. And I was jumping around like fucking uh-huh. listening to Sam <laughs> Coffee and the Iron Lungs. There we go. And I'm kicking. And I jumped and I tripped over something and hit the corner uh-huh. bedside table like this. Boom. And then the, the lamp. Shade from it flying yeah, off, everything, yeah. it moved everything, and I was like, "Oh my god, they're gonna come!" And it didn't hurt because I was so embarrassed, and the lamp fell. Plus, the music was going, right, right. So everything was whacking. And I'm like, "That's it." It was two days ago. It was Saturday, but you got to see this thing. I'm I bust cannot it out. wait. You really built oh, it god. up. I hope it didn't it's, heal. I know I wouldn't uh, heal, Jerry. Get those pants off. We're gonna see the bruise of the year. Oh, Chuck, thank God you're here for the uh, cinescope. Hold on. All right, there we go. Wow, you got some pretty. Oh man, hold on. Let me get, right? let me get the mic right on it. Oh, wow. I mean, that looks it looks like I got shot, right? It looks like a rubber bullet hit you at a BLM protest. Is Holy it, hell, you're all right, man. Is it all any left. better? Holy shit! Oh my God. Can I? Can I? Yeah, go for it. All right, this is what your normal skin feels like. Okay. Oh yeah, is it it's rough? smoother? It's smoother. But I think legs bruise easy. I might have uh, what's the spider vein? Because I got this thing too that I've had for years. D- careful back there. Oh man, is that a <laughs> whop of spinach? My God, that is a, what is that? Chipotle? Jeez, somebody got the bar- barbacoa. But look Woo. at this. I got this thing too, like a oh, varicose yeah. weird thing. But look at that that's shit. A, that's Are you the getting lampshade. this? This is a rubber bullet. I mean, you're like a jackass member <laughs> over here. We got uh, Joe Knoxville. I think it's from, I was rocking and I jumped and just went wow. bang. I look the like legs, Marky Mark. The legs look spectacular. Who? What about him? Oh yeah, he's good. Where he was, I mean, What do you think of that? Is that? Are that you worried? Is, is that worrisome? Perfectly uh, circum- circumcised there. That is a <laughs> circumference and a half. It's like a. That's a perfect bullet. You got to get a photo of that and go. Oh, anytime got- a protest happens, goes. Hey, look! I took one for the team. <laughs> now you're there. a hero. I mean, look. It looks about there the same. Is. That was wow. that was yesterday. It's a little darker there. It's getting yellow now. Okay, so it's better. It's, it's getting better. better. Yeah. Are you worried yeah. about that? The a corner. corner of like a, a bedside, like this. How many days ago? Saturday. Ah, you're fine. That's pretty standard. They said bruises and leg bruises last longer because you got all the soft skin and veins yeah. or some shit. Yeah. You tend to bruise harder on your legs. And nothing do- it, nothing happens back here. So you take something back there, your body's like, Jesus, this is a new one. Yeah. That's some raw meat right here. That's all meat. Yeah, it's all, it's pipes. all pipes. But I mean... Your, Chuck looks concerned. That makes no, me nervous. No, no. He's got a hernia. He's got heart condition. I mean, he, he's got a whole bag of problems. What this are you going to say? That didn't look like a corner. It was like, that was like a 
It's too circular for a corner. It, that's why I thought rubber bullet. It, it looks just like a, a slug hit you. I mean, maybe somebody shot me when I was... Uh, maybe you, you bombed. Know. Yeah, he, was, no. he was in the moment. It didn't feel but, it. The adrenaline from the, from the heavy metal. But I think the back of the legs are such a sensitive area that, like, if, it, if I had that on my chest, you'd be like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, but yeah. I think the leg bruises easy because I, I, I read everything about bruises. I stayed up till 6 in the morning. Mm, but I think it's better than that, right? Has it gotten better, you think? It's gotten better. That's dark. That's You're a black saying hole. You're not so much? I mean, it's, it's more yellow now. It's like uh, an Yellow's Asian. good. We got lights. It's like a doctor's office. Let me look up now. Now I'm getting nah, nervous, Purvis, fine. out of service. You're fine. It's good. Yeah, uh, yeah. You but bruise. bruises last for days. Okay, that looks like a three-day bruise. That makes sense. It was fun to touch, uh, I got to say. Long, it was a very does... different world down there when you touch it, it and it smelled weird, too, which I don't know does... if that's a bad sign. It, it smelled like almonds. I don't know if that means anything. How long does <laughs> leg bruise Oh, uh, you're, you're worrying. You well, hit that's because he's making faces. <laughs> Bruises are, he, most are not that's serious. His resting face. He's he doesn't have a face. He's going. Ooh. Oh, so you're, you're fine. a good friend. He's a bad friend. <laughs> no, he's not even worried. He's got no. He's <laughs> dead inside. It Bruises all works hurt, out. but most are not serious. Will go away on their own within two to four weeks. It's been four uh, days. Oh yeah, yeah. You got plenty. You know what we got to do now. Every episode, we check in on the bruise. It'll be like a like an eclipse. Right. You know, we'll see the time lapse. How long bruises usually fade away in about two weeks. Oh, Over that time, yeah. the bruise changes colors. The body breaks down and reabsorbs the blood. You're 48 years old. You never had a bruise. This is nothing. Well, I never had a bruise unexplained like that. He's saying we got it's, the it's not the corner. We got the corner. It's the corner. I it's think it's clearly the corner. He's saying no corner, but I didn't oh. feel it. But then I'm like, maybe I'm a, maybe I'm like tough, you know? Like I, I fucking I didn't even notice that shit because it was shocking. Because I'm like, I don't know what the fuck. Doesn't that look like it would be the oh, biggest event of my life? You'd go down. You'd be like, ah! No, I just, but I think, because like I said, the music and the embarrassment, I knocked a lamp over and I was like, is this broken? Oh my God. Plus I was raging against the machine and, oh, and my, oh, my tits were swollen. I wonder if we could sue the Red Roof in. I mean, you're, you're a handicap now. Red Roof? How bad do you think I'm doing? Well, it was a gag. Oh, I but, see. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't mind a Red Roof, by the way. Hey, I take that back. I stayed in one in San Antonio and I actually changed hotels, which I never do. A Red Roof? Brutal. Way, my buddy just went on vacation. He said his with his in laws. He said they changed rooms three times. That's unheard of. With children, so with the children, you got to uh, pack up the diapers and the tricycle and uh, the, uh, the rubber dildos, and what, you got to move rooms three times. What are they? The Donner Party? They got to keep moving along. That's insane. I don't get it. Oh, speaking of which, we got to do a little business. Oh, jeez. Speaking Good of which, God. doesn't even make sense in that context. Maybe a but. bruise company will uh, reach out. You know, with some vitamin D, whatever that is. Oh, this is exciting. We got a new... Yes, yeah, this vitamin deficiencies can cause bruises, too. There you but go. But I think I, I take vitamins. I'm a pretty healthy boy. All right. We'll see about that. New sponsor, folks. Tuesdays with Stories is now brought to you by Green Chef. Did you get this stuff? Oh, did I get it? Oh, I put it right God. in my face. If you want to eat healthy, this is the meal kit for you. Whether you're trying keto, paleo, or plant-based, they've got it. The best part is you don't need to be a whiz in the kitchen. The recipes are easy. Don't worry about getting bored. Choose from 30 new recipes every week. Cook with satisfying meals that work around your lifestyle, not the other way around. Every meal is designed to help you eat a more balanced diet. I got the uh, one, it was called, uh, I forget what it was called, but it was mm. balanced. It was something balanced, I uh, think. Oh, there was a pork burger, a harissa chicken. They were great. Oh, it was amazing. They sent it to us. Sarah cooked it all up. Delicious. There's still some leftovers in the fridge. That's how big it was. We loved it. We're pumped. We're, we're, they got us. Yeah, I'm in. They you hooked what, us. You know what I love is they give you a lot of sauces. I love a sauce. They packets of sauces. It was a fish one. There was a chicken. There was a beef. These guys bring it. They got seasoning, and it's super easy to make. And you're right. It's a huge portion. We're tis, on board. Tis the seasoning. I love, I'm all sauce. I'm Joe, extra sauce yes. list. I mean, I, I, extra marinara, extra ketchup, extra. Th- I'm just finding other people think ketchup is gross. But we'll talk what? about that after. It's a staple. My lady and I are cooking together. It's a great way to spend time together. Green Chef saves time. Tell them how to get it. You got that right, Fatty. Try it today. Go to greenchef.com slash Tuesdays100. Hope you got that. And use code TUESDAYS100, no space, to get $100 off and free shipping. Wow. Holy hell. That's greenchef.com slash TUESDAYS100. The code is TUESDAYS100, and you'll get 100 clams off, including free shipping. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. Comes right to your door, folks. 
Tuesdays with Stories is also brought to you, as you know, by ExpressVPN. Using the internet without ExpressVPN is like going to the bathroom with the door open, Ooh, folks. I like yeah. that. Everybody can smell you. Why do you need VPN without one? Your ISP. We, all, we know, Mark and I really know a lot about ISPs. Oh, yeah. They, I got pee problems. They can see every site you visit, and they turn around and sell that info to ad companies. Yikes. Nobody likes ads. ExpressVPN creates a secure line between you and the internet. No one can see what you do online. It runs in the background with just one click. That's right. Just as easy as closing the bathroom door. Again with the door. Your whole (laughs) Wi-Fi network is covered. Every device in your household, phones, laptops, tablets, all covered by one account. I love it. You love it. Don't you love it? Oh, yeah. When God closes the door, he opens a a window and uh, secure your online activity by visiting expressvpn.com slash Tuesdays today. You can get extra three months for free. That's expressvpn.com slash Tuesdays for an extra three months for free. Expressvpn.com slash Tuesdays. Secure your online activity today. All right, one more sponsor. We love them all equally. Tuesdays with Stories is also brought to you by Keeps. I mean, everybody's afraid of losing their hair. Nobody wants to make love to a bald man. For God's sakes, Patrick Stewart got sexiest man alive. What a joke. That's the beginning of the politically correct crap. <laughs> not on my watch, me. Chrome Dome. <laughs> yeah. You need your hair, and you got to keep your hair. Because it's not about losing the hair. It's about keeping the hair you have. Keep the faith. Two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they turn 35. That's 66% of men, which means more than 50 million guys in the U.S. alone are going bald and there are only two fda approved drugs out there to prevent hair loss good news keeps has both of them you can see a virtual doctor get medication delivered straight to your door every three months you don't even have to leave your home keep keeps is low cost treatment start at just ten dollars per month wow. and everything comes in a discreet package we're the king of discreet packages you got that right tell them some more mark uh, if you're ready to take action, go to keeps.com slash Tuesdays. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Tuesdays. Get your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Tuesdays. Get your first month free. Keeps.com slash Tuesdays. And keep that hair folks you don't want to lose it you need it you'd like to have sex with people and uh, the ladies like to run their finger through it so hold on to that mop you got there nothing on the top but a bucket and a mop an illustrated book about birds Mm, who's that dr seuss well i know the nirvana i think that's the meat puppets original Ah. and then the nirvana boy they really fell off the meat pups yeah i don't think anyone really knew the meat pups other than the nirvana thing what do you mean well, Nirvana, they played with Nirvana on Unplugged. Uh, but other than that, I don't think anyone was like, they had probably 600 fans or something. That was that one agent, I got you on the Nirvana Unplugged with the, oh my God, the Meat Puppets went, went ape shit, and then he couldn't get another gig. Right, tough, tough days for the Meat Puppets. I've, I've spun those records around, though. They're pretty good. They're fun. All right, I they, like the pups. They're probably cool to know about. They do a backyard barn in Tallahassee or something. By the way, they're probably 73 years old now. We're so old. I know. That was 19, that was 20... Seven years ago. I know. I see black kids wearing Nirvana shirts the way we wore Zeppelin shirts. Yes, it's very strange. And I've turned into those guys. I see like a teenager wearing a Nirvana. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. You don't know shit. And I hated those people when I was young. I'm like, I like the Stones. And they're like, you fucking cunt. That's not even, that's our music, you piece of shit. I was at Woodstock 69. You don't know shit. You come guzzling Nazi. You're like, I can't. I like the tune. But now we we do it with these, uh, these whippersnappers. I see. I'm like, you don't know anything. Yeah. But anyways, so the Bruges, you're not worried about the Bruges? Too nah, worried about the Bruges? The Bruges Chuck, you're saying no. In yeah. Bruges. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, been four days. You're fine. It's a Bruges. But you're saying not a corner. If it's the same in a week, you're fucked. All right. Uh, well, yeah, I'll keep an yeah. eye on it. Four days, you're good. But I have no, I don't feel it. I mean, I, I, I'm smacking it, flicking it, rub it down. Oh, no, the girl's going to do me. It's funny because you're tough physically, but up here, it's a, you're, a, you're a Girl Scout cookie. I I'm mean, you're, best. you're nervous as hell. You're freaking out. This is no tough. Tough. Take a, take a, take a page from the playbook of this thigh here. The body. Listen there to the body. Go. The Listen body keeps the body. score. Now, yes. That is a book. Can't argue with the body, Jerry. That's an argument you can't win. One of the great scenes ever. <laughs> Taps on the door with a cane. Come on. <laughs> we need to get to bed. 
Great, great program. Hell of a show. Pictures on sale. Oh, that's good stuff. That's a hell of a picture. All right. Check, check out Seinfeld, the TV show, if you haven't. I don't that's know if you ever heard of it. It's on 14 seven. times a day. Very good. Jiffy Park, I believe, is that one. Jiffy Park. Oh, God, it's so good. Yeah. It was and if you excuse me, we need to get to bed. <laughs> and then Jerry's face, he's like, I don't think I'm going to fit on this couch. Kramer going to oh, bed with, the with his shoes on, <laughs> kicking the shoe, kicking the couch. The, the, the blanket doesn't fit. It's too good. Oh, but I, I know, guest. I know, I've said this before. But talking about age and Nirvana and the, and the tits and everything, it's so crazy because we got young whippersnappers listening to the show, and we're talking about we're hung up on some show from the '60s, I man. Oh, I know. It's like talking about the honeymooners or exactly. Some shit. It's like if some we were like into really hip, cool shit in the '90s, and they're like, "You gotta watch All in the Family. Right. It'll blow your mind." And you're like, "It's enough already with Seinfeld. It's over for Bozo." I know Bozo's done, but I try to show the lady. Look at these classics, and she sees a touch of black and white or Technicolor. She sees a young Jack Nicholson. She opens that TikTok and. A there we are. It's over. It's Twerkville all day long. Oh, the TikTok's ruining our lives. But uh, I know. But uh, what was I going to say? That delivery from John Favreau. He goes, what, what, what is he, a clown? Oh, One of the great. funniest lines great. of all time. I mean, as a guy who auditioned and never made it past the first chapter on the, on the curb thing, uh, they tell you don't be funny, and it's such good advice because Favreau delivers that line straight, and that's the key to it. So funny. If he was trying to be funny, what are you stuck on a clown? Ha ha! Here, here! It's out! It's over! B O Z O! Yes, you deliver it straight. What? What, what was he a clown? Oh, There's yeah. millions of clowns, man. I know, I know. Very good program. Very it's good fascinating. show. Fascinating. I mean, you are. I'm not. Oh boy, you got a big project, but you've seen some actors. I won't give it too much away. Uh huh. Rub that clit. Panic yeah. button. Man in the boat. Uh, but uh, you get what, what they can do with a with a line and of dialogue is really talent. Well, I tell you, I've, we've maybe talked about this because we've done some auditions here and there. We pretend to be actors, and you do an audition, and you're like. I don't know, man. We got to get to the bank and we got to take the money and get the hell out of here. We got to skin it. Wow, and then you're like, that, that was pretty good. Well, was it? Yeah, that was great. I was moved. Uh, I was okay. like, we got to get to the bank. Yeah, well, Holy right. shit. Well, maybe I'm a bad example, but you send you're it in actor. and then you never hear back. And then you watch the program, whatever, six months later, and you see, you know, Matt McCarthy or whoever, and you're like, that's a hundred times better than I did. I know. It's the opposite of stand up. Stand up, you turn on, who got this season of uh, Blow Me? And you watch and you go, are you shitting me? Yeah. That's not a joke. What a hack. That's just a political statement. Right. You're just going for applause. Racism and then you flip is the bad. table. But it's completely different with a TV show. I watch an actor and I'm like, oh my God, I suck. Good oh. work. I want to call the casting director and be like, good choice. I'm a piece of shit. My father hates me. Here's the most unrelatable thing I've ever said to a studio audience. But you ever audition for a commercial? Obviously, you don't get it. You you see the commercial and you go, oh, he he's good. Yes, I of stink. course. It's the same thing. I'm such a bad actor. And even, but even like with this Netflix bullshit, I have to do like a, hi, I'm Mark Norman. Watch stand up season three and kill your dad and blow your mom and all that or whatever you do. You make it your own. They go, okay, now say it like this and then say it like that. And you're like, oh, wow, it's, it's so different. Right. Just those three takes were so different because they give you a little. A little bit of direction. A little tweak. And that's acting. Tweaking. Pete Coriel used to have a great bit about, because he had like a thick Long Island accent, and he'd do his audition, and they'd be like, could you do it without the accent? He's like, yeah, I can. I just, that was my reading. I thought maybe this doctor had a thick, dumb, retarded Long uh, Island accent. Uh, yeah. That was a good bit. Yeah, I can't do the accent. Yeah, my yeah. He, tucked in. he does have a sure. crazy accent, that guy. Oh, funny he's so guy. funny. So funny. Handsome, too. He was a handsome wop. He was like one of those just... Olive skin, which I don't even know what that means. I've seen olives. No one looks like that. Think, there's green olives and there's black olives. So black people really are olive skin. That's a good point. Ah, uh-huh. olive point. oil voice in the Guinea Charm. Because the voice was olive oil in no. Godfather. He oh, says really? you got your olive oil voice in your Guinea Charm. Ah, I think he says that. Olive oil's on Popeye. Yeah, she's a character. Yeah, not attractive. You'd, you'd think he's really fighting for this gal. That's a good point. I guess you love her. Yeah, I have spinach too, and my forearms don't look like that. No, well, you got the. Eh. Yeah, it's a pretty thin forearm. Yeah, he was spinach. a sailor. Yeah, I guess so. And he I beat up he uh, thing. Brutus. Right, or Bluto. Was did it they Bluto? change the names? I feel like they. They did? Yeah, it was Bluto and Brutus. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. And then what was Wimpy? What was that about? He loved burgers. Wimpy? 
Remember those wimpy who would walk off a plank to look for a burger and said free burgers tomorrow? I mean, boy, we really are going old school. We're back in the 40s now. Is we got to grow up. We got to get current. Is wimpy in the Popeye universe? He's in that yoon. No kidding. He's in the umbrella. All right. I never got Ella, Popeye. Ella. I think we talked about Popeye before. This is a repeat, Whoa, I think. Popeye. That's what I, I said. You said Popeye. Well, and, and that's that mass horse it's shit. in Massachusetts. I say mum too my whole uh, life. Hey, mum. Uh, it's a mom. What's up, mum? Mom. That's fucking dumb and no, gay. No, it's an O, not a U. Hi, mom. She says rough. It's I'm like, mom. it's a roof, you, you cocker spaniel. Oh, yeah, it's roof. That's insane. Thank you. It's a roofie, not a roughie. Yeah, that's how you got her. Hey, what are we up for time? I'm so, com- I'm so discombobulated. Oh, all right, all right, all right. All right. We got to bring this thing home. Wow. We got another, uh, we got a, we got a, a quarter, of, quarter an of an hour. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> we're on the we're, we're synced up. Period. Wise, it's weird to think a set. It's weird how different time is different things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because do you ever have this thought where mm. you're like, you got to do a show. It's late show Friday. They seem a little rowdy, yeah. and you're like, I got to go up there for a sitcom and a half. Uh, you know what I mean? Like the and I could watch an entire Seinfeld plus another half of Seinfeld in the time that I got to entertain these lunatics. It's a lot, yeah. It's crazy. But that's the be- and I, I've said this before, and I feel like I'm repeating. But it's the beauty of stand up is it's that barroom brawl mixed with theater. It's the perfect <laughs> crossroad, crossfit of. Theater and there's some stank on it with dick jokes and drunks and and blue collar queefs out there with opioids and all that. And then you got I'm entertaining. I'm doing Shakespeare. This is a written monologue. It's a great uh, mix of those. I don't know about the Shakespeare. We didn't discuss the Shakespeare. But. Well, you know, you've written this piece and right. it, it makes sense and it has callbacks and a through line and punch oh, it's lines. A piece. Yeah, yeah, no, I hear you. It's weird. I mean, that's why, and I, I've said this a million times, the best work that Louis ever did, hopefully he's got some better work coming up shortly, but the best thing he ever did was the last episode of Louis with him and Florentine, who's amazing in it, oh, and, and Florentine's thing. featuring, and they have this argument, and they both argue what stand-up is, and they're both making such great points. Can you refresh? It's been 20 years. Well, Louis's like mad because he's a hack. The feature's a hack. And he's ruining the shows. And Louis's like, what are you doing? He's like, you're fucking it up. You're doing bullshit. And I'm trying to, I'm an artist, man. I'm trying to do something oh. here. I got, a, I got a, th- a statement I'm trying to make. And I'm trying to say something and create something. And Florentine's like, what are you talking about? Wow. Dude? He's like, it's a bar trick. He's like, we go up there, we tell some dick jokes to get him in the mood to go fuck. It's about selling drinks. It's not anything else. What wow. do you do? He's like, let's have some fun. And That's they're both heavy. making such great points. It's and like two sides of the brain. And then both it, right. it ends with him falling off the toilet and smashing his head and dying. Ah, uh, way to give that away. Well, but, it's been about 48 years since it came out. So. Spoiler alert. But uh, Florentine's amazing. Louis's great. And uh, you got to check it out. I'll check it out. That's a great point. And obviously, Louis knew what he was doing with the whole, uh, it takes both. It, it's a little of both. It's a gumbo. You got to have a little sugar, a little spice. And that's what makes it special. Because you go all statement. Now you're off in Brooklyn uh, with blue hair. And then you go all hack. And then you're the guy with rainbow <laughs> suspenders and, uh, you know, talking about... Dogs and cats, different. Right. Gumbo, forest gumbo. There you go. I don't know if that makes sense. You ever had sense. gumbo? I don't know if I had gumbo. What's that, with the shrimp in the business? Oh, Is it brown? Shrimp, sausage, chicken. It's got a roux, a base. It's got the spice. You would hate it. Yeah, I don't care for it, gumbo. It tastes good. You wouldn't like it. It's full of flavors and rich history and black people. With a brew like this, I shouldn't be eating gumbo. You know what I mean? No, no. <laughs> I could use a brew. I'll tell you that. A couple Beep. brews. Boop. Yeah. Did you ever eat boogers when you were a kid? Never once. I saw a guy Same. do it. It scarred me. I what, I hated the kid. I hope he died. I saw a guy eat a booger on a train once. I oh, see everything. Oh. I see everything, Jerry. These oh. guys, everybody thinking they're hiding something, I see it. Well, I mean, these people that eat the booger, I remember seeing a kid, I won't say his name, but I was in third grade, and literally thinking, that is disturbing. You're disturbed. Yes, it's disturbing. Your parents, uh, something went wrong. I don't know what went wrong, but they're definitely uh, divorced and have raped you or something. Clearly. To pull anything outside of your body and then be like, I'm going to put that back in. Completely. Is just insane. Now, I like the ladies with the semen, and I've eaten uh, plenty of uh, bunghole in my day. That's but- not their own body. Though. Exactly, exactly. If I'll eat your burgers any time. All right, that's a uh, witness. <laughs> but <laughs> Patreon. I I saw the kid do it. I must have been on 
nine, and I still same, remember it. Same. And the, the kid was off, too. He was off. He had shitty underwear. He had a bad haircut with, the, like, a homemade haircut. Same you know that? kid. I wonder if he transferred. Ah, uh-huh. I but think so. Mine did it while making eye contact. Oh! It was like the devil slipped inside me for a minute. He looked oh. right at me and just cranked oh. it out and put it on his tongue and Jesus. flicked it around like a loose tooth. Oh, I'm eating here. But yeah, this kid has got some problems, uh, and I saw a guy do it on the train, and he did one of these. Oh my! And I God. caught it, and I caught it. Now let me let me throw this at you, and this is where I might lose you. Uh oh! I ha- I've tasted one on accident. Oh, by accident! By accident! Sexual. I'm, I'm by. <laughs> yeah, I like. Picking my nose. I'll give you that. Oh, my but, God. I'm all pick. I pick my nose half the time you're telling a story. I don't, I'm over here picking daisies. Yeah, yeah. Pick away. Uh, a daisy will do you, but that should be in the Olympics. Let me get a... I'll get in there. I'll beat Tokyo with this thing. But oh. either way, I I forgot I picked my nose and I ate something. Oh. And I did like a, like a chicken finger oh. looking good. Oh. And I guess I had a little booger remnant oh. on there. And I went, oh, what the hell is that? Oh! Oh. It was a gooey, brown, yellow, snotty, chunky, crusty Oh, cunt. my God. So it was big enough to bite into, and there was still remnants no, no, on the other side? No bite. No bite. Lick. Just a lick. Oh, you licked. It was on the edge of the nail. It, it clung see. on for life. I see. A Klingon. Yeah. I, I had my best <laughs> buddy my best buddy in high school, Nick Flynn, great guy. Uh, mm. We were just inseparable. Asian. But he pulled out boogers that were like, I was like, that's from your brain. That's like a brain cartridge. Like, it would be... Like like this, and it would be this long, like a yeah. like a hot. T- I think we might lose because some people can't even talk about. They boogers. can't handle the snot, so we should move off. They're they're not listening anymore. Yeah, yeah, but uh, boy. yeah, I hate a booger. Eat, it's disgusting. And other people's, but it's the same with farts. Other people's farts, you're like, oh my god. But your own fart, you're like, that's hilarious. That's true. Yeah. I know you see a long booger coming out and it's green. You go, what are you? What are you eating? What's your problem? You gotta you gotta grow up. But uh, your own booger, it's a good time. Yeah, I love a good bug. It's like an art project. You're like, look at this. I want to. I want to save it. Boogie cousins. I still. It still bothers me that you, uh, boogie woogie, that you put your boogers around the house as a youth. Oh my god, uh, I, that's, I just that's appalling. I just think about my parents. My dad was my age now. Uh, you know, he's working. He's got a forty minute commute every day. Think about that. It's all, not even highway. Just back roads, New uh, England. Just red light, red light, uh, red light all morning. Job he hates, uh, traffic all the way back, and he gets home to take his shit, and he looks, and the side of the counter is just covered in graffiti, uh, just boogers. Booger feedy. And then he goes, hey, you got to stop leaving boogers in the bathroom. I go, that wasn't me. And then he's like, what do you, what do you think, I'm an asshole? No wonder he won't talk to you. I get it now. Couch cushion, the whole uh, works, his shoes, everywhere. Well, I told you, when I was a, a little, little, little... Netty Knickers, I would shit all over the bed frame when I was a kid because, you know, my bed was against the wall like a, like a retarded person. And I would, you know, I was learning to jerk. And so just two drops would come out, but I would just roll it over between the wall and the bed. And you forget about it. It just goes down into the purgatory. And uh, one day we moved out. My dad's helped me move the bed. Er, er, you know, he yanked that puppy off the wall. First of all, there's a line with the the you know the the dust, uh, the and it's dust just line. a waxy waterfall of fucking spunk. Oh my! I, yeah, I, I, Sarah had a roommate. The same thing, same deal. Really? Yeah, same exact thing. It was just all dripping like glue. And yes, it's like an old candle, an Italian joint. Especially when you're a kid, because you're so young and fresh, and yes. your, your your organs are all. It's like it's like a bullet. Exactly. It's primo spunk, and he knew exactly what it was. There was no like what what. It was like ah yes. We've never spoken. We barely hug, and then all you see is my baby batter all over the stucco. Oh, never spunkin'. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Spelunking. Stretch. Yeah, but, uh, oh, boy, that wallpaper was ruined. Oh, boy. Yeah, good times. Great oldies. Well, That's this is old. so exciting. I, 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 keep, I keep remembering that you're shooting in like two hours. I know. Jesus Christ. Uh, so what, what's the routine? What do you do? You shower? Do you say a prayer? Do a push-up? Uh, I did push-ups. I might hit a, a pull-up later. I'm treating it like a normal day. I got two sets. Uh, I'm going to go by. The only problem, I'll tell you the problem. Sure. It's not the set. It's not the production. It's not the, the this will be on wax for 50 years. Uh, how's your hair? It's the fact that I got 900 people, which is bittersweet, going, 
You need anything? You good? What time should I show up? Where's parking? When do you go on? Is there food there? Do we get drinks? What seat am I in? Am I upper deck, back deck? How long you doing? Leave me alone! You want to help? You want to be nice? You want to be supportive? Forget you know me. Delete my number. Move out of town. You're killing me with this shit. I got 18 calls all week with this. Well, I'll say two things. Three things. I'm going to say three things total. Three. One, you got to get a little gratitude in the attitude. It's very nice. You're You're very loved. We need love. You can feel the love. That's love. Love language. B... You got to set some boundaries. You got to say right to people, hey, I, I appreciate it. I love you. You can't text me again till tomorrow. I hate a boundary. That's the but thing. I, you got to set you. the boundary and see, and this one's important. C word. Did you get my name on the list? Because I'd like to come by and yeah, see. And yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. All right. <laughs> You're on the list. I got to get him on, get him on the list. Well, you have to uh, but yeah, me. you just got to say, hey, I, I can't hear from you anymore. I really appreciate it. Or you don't have to do that. You just fucking uh, put it on airplane mode. You yeah. don't need to talk to anybody. Yeah. You got you know what time to be there. Your manager, all those people, they can all hear from you later. Right. So go airplane mode. You got your wife here. You got Chuck, I think, lives here now. Yeah, and then yeah. you just go up there and you do your thing. Chris Allen, I assume you have to find him somewhere. He's got to be uh, lost in the city. I can't imagine him yeah, functioning yeah, without he's you. He's in the Bronx right now getting uh, anally raped under a train station. But either way, we'll figure it out. And that's the funny thing. If you don't answer, they just figure it out. Yes, exactly. Every time. But way, uh, Allen, a little comfortable yesterday. It's like he's hosting a 1030 <laughs> show. It's 1025. He's like, stop <laughs> fucking with me. I'm like, I'm not fucking with you. Uh, you got to go over there. Yeah, it'd be you're nice. on the show. You're hosting. I know. It They're all, looking for you. It all worked out. Uh, it was a very lightly of attended uh, episode. But well, uh, you, look who you got to host. Well, he's not a he doesn't have a following, but you know we're all <laughs> trying to build something out here, and uh, we made fun of the headband. I think he got annoyed by it. But uh, well, he's blowing up though uh, physically. Sure, sure. Uh-oh. He's a fat man, and uh, he did a great job, and we had a fun time. Uh, we got a new booker out there. Every week, hot soup, 1030 at the Fat Black Pussycat. Come oh, yeah. on by. We need you, folks. Make sure to plug. I mean, you could be selling this thing, for God's yeah, sake. Yeah, you're right. What the hell what am I doing? doing? Yeah, Come 1030, on Fat Black Pussycat. Every when? Tuesday. Tuesday. But I feel Tuesday. like every gay in, in the metro area has seen my act 38 times because I keep running it over and over. They go, hey, we like this guy, but geez, Louise, we get it on the uh, come come on the wall jokes. I know, but this one's not about you. This is about the show. Uh-huh. You call, you're going to just riff. You're going to riff and raff. you got to beat you got the, you know, you got to make the show good. You got right. Ruby. Yeah, we got a tell popping it all the time. Uh, Gaffigan's come by. We had Sarah Silverman once. She didn't know who I was. But yeah, it was a good time. It's a, it's a, it's a fun. It's a cellar. Come on. You can't go wrong with the cellar. 1030 every Tuesday. Hot soup. Be there. Probably the longest running title of show in uh-huh. the city. Good point. I mean, the show has been everywhere. But that show, I mean, I was drunk at that show. So it's been at wow. least nine years. Good point. Remember good point. Uh, the Irish bar? Oh, Hanlon's people who who started that show have since quit comedy. That's how long that show's been going. We've we've outed people out of the business. Haynes was involved in that at one point. He wasn't was he? one of the early supporters, and then he bailed. Yeah, I remember watching Haynes. I mean, like this guy's unbelievable. He's a funny guy, Andy Haynes. Check him out. Uh, yeah. I guess we could wrap this I, up, they, right? What are you, I mean, what are you I have looking no at, Chuckster? Ah, ah, it takes a while to wrap up. You got to yeah. take it out of the package, roll it down the dick, check put the, the lube bruise. on. It's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should All we right, check well, the bruise again? I'm worried about the I bruise. I mean, I like the pants off. That's exciting. Uh, I don't think we've done that in 38 years of uh, shooting for NBC. We never got those trow down, but that was fun. I think the bruise, I think I just got hemoglobin levels, a back of the leg, varicose. My mother's got all kinds of varicose veins on her tits oh, and nipples. You're so, have those. Yeah, I think you it's fine. One pear and a, and a mango, and that's gone. I got varicose veins on my balls, so why wouldn't I have a weird bruise? And I think I'm just tough as nails. When I feel a bump, I don't even notice it. You know what I mean? That's what you take away from this. You hit a corner of a desk. That is no joke. Those corners will kill you. You hit your forehead on that, it's over. These are nice corners. Good corner. (laughs) Yeah, cornerstone, uh, Cold Stone Creamery, Cold Stone Steve Austin. I'm going to be all over the road. West Palm Beach, Nashville Zanies, Appleton, Wisconsin, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Buckhead Theater in Atlanta. Atlanta. Hot Atlanta. Yeah. And we got all kinds of dates. MarkNormanComedy.com. We might be drunk. Check out our specials. I Hate Myself. Out to Lunch. One day Netflix will be out. One day he'll be out. And uh, Chuck's really cooking it up. Chuck E. Cheese, good to have you. And a Hot Gay Sets is in the works. Might be out by the time this is out. 
Who knows? I would hope so. This comes out in three weeks, for God's sake. Oh, sakes. oh, geez. All right. I'll Two be, weeks. I'll be uh, maybe not quitting comedy by then. And uh, what, what do you got? Oh, wait. Maybe you're right. No, this comes out in two weeks. Two weeks. From now. I don't know. It's going to be all fucked up. we got to really backlog some episodes. i got a big project going, but you won't see that for a while. Oh, boy. September 23rd, 24th, 25th, Helium, Philadelphia, for God's sakes. Get tickets. And get tickets early for all these events because it lets the club owner know, hey, this guy, he's got some people. So the yes. earlier you buy the tickets, the yes. better it is for Good us. Point. And uh, then September 30th, October 1st, 2nd, is Mark Ridley's in, uh, what's that town? Royal Oak, Michigan. Then Bananas in New Jersey, October 8th and 9th, and a bunch of other shit coming up. Philadelphia, I mean, um, uh, Portland Helium coming Uh up in November. Zany Chicago in November. Uh And uh, Skank Fest also, which is already sold out, but that's going to be fucking insane. Hopefully everything can go off without a a douche because of all this shit that's going on. I think it's going to add tickets. I think they're going to be doing the Astrodome before you know it. Who knows? uh, You know, whatever. But I don't think Texas will shut down. Who knows what the fuck. Oh, right. But, uh, yeah. Lambda. Anyways, that's that, and uh, check out Joe and Ron on for some uh, fun movie talk, and um, yeah, YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube, for the uh, God's sakes, I gotta get those numbers up, because Lord knows we gotta self-produce a lot of shit, so we'll see. That's the way to do it. Everybody's doing it. YouTube's the king. Thank you, gays. Tell a friend. We love you. Queef it up. Patreon. The whole yes, thing. join the Patreon. Praise Allah. Fuck your dad. Comedy. Tips. No. <laughs>